An off-road Honda Ridgeline, you heard that right. What we're looking at today is the first ever Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport, an off-road package for the Ridgeline. Now we've seen the Trail Sport versions of the Passport and the Pilot, but this is the first time Honda's done the off-road rugged treatment to their mid-size truck. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the outside, the inside, check out some of the off-road goodies and find out, does the Trail Sport elevate the Ridgeline into an off-road monster or is it more of a visual package? Now, it may look like that I'm out here in Breckenridge, Colorado, wearing a t-shirt like a badass, but it, I am in fact at a studio here in California taking a look, our first look at this new 2024 Ridgeline Trail Sport. And visually, we do have a couple of differences to distinguish the Trail Sport from the standard Ridgeline. First of all, the color. This beautiful sky blue, which they use on vehicles like the Passport and the Pilot, really pops and this is a trail sport specific color we also have a new gray grill kind of this egg crate style with trail sport here on the top right corner kind of a nice little pop of color orange is the trail sport color by the way but the big distinguishing factor apart from the color in the grill are the wheel and tire package so we're rolling on a set of general grabber AT Sport tires. And this is by far the biggest surprise of the day because even if you look at a vehicle like the fully off-road built out Tacoma TRD Pro, they're running a pretty conservative, more street oriented tire. I know it's technically got Kevlar in the sidewall and that kind of thing, but it really is what I would call a mild terrain. It doesn't really have very big lugs. Well, if you look at the, the grabber on this Ridgeline, this is a true all-terrain. These are beefy, beefy, aggressive tires, and you can even see the amount of um, kind of protection they incorporate in the sidewall with, once again, these big lugs in the sidewall. So I'm really impressed that Honda has gone to such extent and you know the, the compromise that comes with an off-road tire on the Ridgeline Trail Support and we'll have to get this car out in the road and in the dirt soon to find out how it performs. Um, we also have a set of gray 18-inch wheels on this Ridgeline with a nice chunky sidewall unlike some other manufacturers that are going for like 20s and 21s on their off-road packages. Not Honda, they're sticking tried and true recipe, which is great to see. So that should give it a pretty good ride quality. And from a suspension standpoint, they haven't lifted the Trail Sport over the standard bridge line, which I think is a little bit of a miss. It does have different tuning of the shock absorbers from um, like a compression and rebound standpoint. It also has softer sway bars front and rear to allow more wheel articulation, which is great. But I certainly think we could use a little bit more ground clearance. The ground clearance on the ridge line is right around eight inches if I remember correctly um, but uh, yeah that would be a cool thing maybe for the aftermarket to address now there is another mechanical change for the Ridgeline Trail Sport and Zach I don't know if you can see down here but right in this area sorry for the weird angle there guys there you go you got this kind of great and this is actually a oil pan skid plate so one of the challenges with the Ridgeline, of course, is that it was intended to be primarily an on-road truck. People took them off-road, we've taken them off-road a lot, and there's a lot of great attributes, but they were sorely lacking protection in the front end. Honda has addressed that with the skid plate over the oil pan. Now you're probably wondering, well, hang on, the Pilot has this crazy huge skid plate that has like the built-in recovery point that's rated at 2X, the GVW. Where is that on the Ridgeline? Well, Honda says that you know, when they were developing the pilot for the new generation, it was an all new architecture, an all new platform, and they were able to incorporate that design from the start. Whereas this ridge line is more of a mid cycle refresh. So it doesn't get that really cool skid plate with the incorporated tow hook. It does have some additional protection. That little oil pan cover, by the way, you can spec from a dealer standpoint or from the factory as well on vehicles that aren't the uh, trail sport so you can include that on other ridge lines i do love this color though absolutely fantastic really pops especially with the black accenting on the uh, on like the fender flares and down the side still and then as we make our way to the rear this is another big change straight out of um well, a couple other manufacturers playbooks, but honda has stamped ridge line into the tailgate 
a really good look. I think it looks quite nice um, there. And it's, it's a very rugged look. And then I just love the rear end treatment on the uh, Ridgeline because you got these beautiful dual exhausts, very Ram-like and how they're incorporated into the bumper, but they just look so aggressive, especially when you're following one of these trucks from behind, it gives it a great stance. And the Ridgeline is one of the trucks in the industry that doesn't get the, I think, respect that it deserves. Because of course it is a unibody, it is an all-wheel drive, not a proper four-wheel drive with a low range, but it still has a lot of capability and a lot of usability for the average person. And we really see that in the bed. So we're looking at a four foot wide bed. You can fit a, a piece of plywood back there. Total length is right over five feet. Um, composite bed, of course, but a very usable bed. And unlike so many other mid-sized trucks in the segment, look at this. I can reach over and actually touch the bed bottom. So for folks that are like, that's not a real truck, a real truck has a division between the cab and the bed, I would say to you, this is a much more usable bed than so many more mid-sized trucks where they've gotten so tall, you gotta, you know, barely crawl over to get inside there. And there's some other really useful features back here. Um, one of my favorites is, of course, the multi-action tailgate, where if you wanna access things further toward the bulkhead, you can swing the tailgate out instead of folding it down and then reach your stuff back there. It will fit a snowboard as we have proven here. Um, Honda has provided all sorts of outdoorsy accessories to go along with this Ridgeline display. And then of course you got that trunk back here, seven cubic feet, lots of space. You got your ski boots, throw your dirty stuff back there. It also doubles as a cooler, not a full size spare, which is in my opinion, a little bit of a miss on the trail sport. I would like to see that happen. Um, and you know, the, the trunk thing too, another feature really pioneered by Honda that now Hyundai uses, Rivian uses, right? Lots and lots of people are using this, this space underneath the bed and Honda was there first. But very usable bed capacity, towing capacity on this truck, 5,000 pounds. So certainly not the most in segment when you've got vehicles, you know, now touching 7,000 plus pounds, in some cases in the midsize, but still pretty decent towing capacity for the average folk. Um, yeah, you know, tow your small camper, tow your side by side to the trail. And I have to say, you know, the overall design on this truck, you know, the first gen, really boxy, second gen smooth, refresh to the second gen, much more boxy. And I think it's a very attractive looking truck, especially from the front end. But Zach, let's hop into the front seat and talk about some of the changes on the inside because Honda has been constantly adjusting reconfiguring and making this interior very usable. The first thing I want to say, and this is from lots of experience of ridge lining, of <laughs> ridge lining, of road tripping ridge lines, is these seats and this interior, without a doubt in my mind, is the most comfortable in the midsize class. It gets a lot of heck, once again, that's too car-like. It's not truck-like. So what are you saying? If it's truck-like, it has to be uncomfortable. These leather, seats, these bucket seats, you just sink into them. They're super comfortable. You've got good visibility outside, a really refined driving experience as you go down the road. And it's just a beautiful place to road trip. I've done a thousand miles in these in a day and you know, felt like it was nothing where you do that in like the current Tacoma where you've got that weird seating position and it's just not very comfortable. Now some changes in here. First of all, uh, we've got a new instrument cluster. We've got a new incorporated seven inch screen, which is coming to all Ridgelines for 2024, not just the trail sport. So that's a nice tech upgrade. And then we also have this new nine inch screen, beautiful colors. I love that Honda does these bright colors on these screens, which I think looks very, very good. Um, we've got a new operating system behind that screen as well, which is supposed to make this much more snappy, much quicker. And the best part is we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and all of that with a volume knob. So fantastic integration of technology in this new Ridgeline. Below that, of course, your dual zone automatic climate control. Below that, we've got a little cubby. And then below that underneath here, we have a new tray here, wireless charger. And then there's a space here for a second phone, but you can charge one at a time. Push button transmission, never been my favorite, but it does clear up a lot of space in the center console. And now we've got these new cup holders, big chunky cup holders, which I'm told, told will fit a Nalgene, which is standard equipment for all babies born in Colorado. So 
Um, that's great to see. Also a new wider armrest so you can rest your arm here more comfortably. I Really guys, this interior is beautifully comfortable for any truck. It's a very good place to be. Let's check out the rear seat sack, see what that's like. Trail Sport also, as we mentioned, you know, gets the orange stitching, gets some uh, badging in the front headrest, rear seat, get a nice elevated driving position, great effect of stadium seating back here where you kind of look down on the front passenger seats, very comfortable, integrated cup holders into the armrest, um, three abreast seating here. And then if you want to stay there, Zach, I'm going to fold this up and you'll get a sense of how this works. Lift up a handle, you can do it on that side as well, and you have... Look at that, lots of space. Lots of space to store furry friends, maybe a bicycle back here. Um, it's, a good, it's a good amount of usable space. So, you know, Honda has been constantly adjusting, innovating, and improving the Ridgeline over the years. And, you know, I remember when this truck launched, I thought it was pretty expensive for what you got, um, starting in like the high 30s through kind of the high 40s. But we're living in an era now where you can get a mid-sized truck easily into the 60 or mid $60,000 range if you go for like a fully loaded ZR2 Bison, that kind of thing. So we don't know the pricing on the new 2024 truck, but if it's in line with 2023, I'd figure probably 40 to $50,000 pricing. This is near the top spec. Um, there is going to be a black edition, which is going to be a little bit more expensive than this, but I would imagine if I had to, you know, Take a, take a guess, probably high 40s for this truck as equipped. It's a lot of vehicle for that price. I really think so in the market we're living in. You have that 280 horsepower V6 under the hood with a nine speed automatic transmission, 5,000 pounds of towing. Um, but they're just very large, capable, comfortable trucks. And I'm excited about this one. Let's see if we have a payload sticker on this particular Ridgeline. We sure do 1,477 pounds this vehicle can carry. So good payload as well, especially for a relatively small truck. So yeah, guys, you know, people overlook the Ridgeline in the truck segment. I think that they should have pushed it a little further with the off-road goodies in the trail sport. You do have the IVTM4 all-wheel drive system, which I've proven on the TFL slip test to be one of the best all-wheel drive systems out there in terms of torque vectoring. But like I would have liked to see in the suspension lift, some real tow points in the front, that kind of thing, more underbody protection. But it's a good start. Certainly there's a lot of aftermarket solutions out there. And if you're focusing on a vehicle that you just want to use as a daily driver for a road trip and a small amount of off-roading, certainly these new tires are gonna help a lot and that transmission skid plate or that oil pan skid plate is gonna help a lot too. Let me know what you all think in the comments section below. This has been Tommy behind the camera, Zach. We'll see you in the next video.